that stream through camps looking full of fish. Maybe it's time I built me a cannery. Hmm, well, you know, you always gotta expand your business. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Slide 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we made some preparations to make a play for the Clockwork Talons and the Lumberjack games. We also found the location of the Northern Light Battery, and as you have been hearing for a good while now, we bugged the entirety of Jambasan's logging camp so we could listen in on any of its conversations. Tonight, we are going to be heading back out into the field, and this time, I want to actually check and see if we have the money for Bentley's gadget. No, we are, actually, no, we might actually be able to get it. Let's see. Topaz, Sapphire, Rubies, we are just short, and I don't even think it's on the JD Canter. All right, whatever. It's going to be enough to get us the money for the reduction bomb. It's all right, it's not going to be the last time we play as Bentley, so I'll have a chance to still show it off. And speaking of Bentley, that is who we're going to be starting off tonight with. So we've got to make our way once again back over to the far side of the camp. And i got to admit, I think this is probably one of the, the only few times in the game you actually will see Sly Bentley and Murray's job markers out in the field all together. I'm going to wait for this guy to move out of the way and sneak around behind him. Something I, I've noticed during this chapter is definitely this is probably the most cooperative the game is in this entire game so far. In, in the terms of mo almost all of these missions are going to consist of all three members of the gang being out in the field together, working together for a common goal. Which I actually like. I wish more missions in this game actually did that. You know, make, make it feel like we're working as a team. If we can trust Murray's informant... That's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. What were you talking about, Sly? You've gotten easy gigs before. So yes, all three of the members are out on the field this time, and while Murray could discus throw me uh, onto the boat, boat, instead, I'm going to be fancy and give the big guy a break and just fly my way over now here. To hack the steering controls. Hi, Murray. It. You want me to come back? I, I can't come back, Marie. I can't. I'm already here. Stop motioning me to come back. Come on. J j just follow the boat when I get done with this hacking. Because, yes, once again, we got a hack in this game. And you already know my feelings towards hacking in the past levels of this. However, this time, it's a bit different. First off, uh, you only have to unlock this and then go through here. Second off, these new defense drones, which will chase you down and also drop bombs behind them. These things are probably hands down the most annoying enemies, not be just because they're fast, but also because they have a shield and they are relentless when it comes to chasing after you. Although, more often than not, they'll find themselves getting stuck on the firewalls and just destroying themselves. And while the drones themselves take multiple hits to take out, it only takes one shot to take out a bomb they leave behind. However, as you can see of how many get out onto the little hacking field, it can get pretty hectic. Nice work hacking the autopilot. The boat's heading into position. I'm already on top of the silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me, and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. There's Sly just standing up there. Although, given how the the cinematic, the, the briefing went earlier. Sly should be electrocuted all, all the way to hell and back after doing all that. Murray, pull your pants up. Too low. There we go. The hook's in place. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. Sly, please. These guards are very nearsighted. They'll never pick up on what we're doing. Alright, so next location is on... What looks to be the top of the combat club, but I believe... Actually, no, I think it is actually on top of the combat club. Oh, it is. I thought it was on the far side of it. Alright, fine. You can throw me this time, Marie. In fact, throw me right up onto the crow's nest. 
Ooh, perfect landing. And you. And hack this boat. And as the rule of three applies to this as well, uh, it starts to get a lot more challenging, like how there's a, a shooting drone up here by this lock. If you're fast enough, you can actually go through that without it ever hitting you. However, it gets pretty congested in there, so you want to make your way through that little corridor very fast because you'll be surrounded by these green dr bomb drums before you're going to be able to make it through there. By the time you usually get rid of one, another one's already here to take its place. So you want to be very careful, move around. I, from what I've discovered, the best way to deal with these guys is just move in a circle. See if you can try and get them caught up on the firewalls. This starting to get a little congested over here. I need to start taking care of some of these bombs, especially seeing as how I got like three to four hits left in me. But it doesn't really matter because we've already finished it. I, li I like that you Bentley just drops into a predetermined location, not even if you're on where the winch is. He has to go back. Then run all the way back to the winch to fire it to Sly. I'm surprised he was able to catch that one, given how bad the first one was. One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on empty. All right, let's just hop up here. And the location of the final boat is all the way out there. And it seems like there's something else sitting out in the water. Looks like an old friend has decided to take a chill out here. This time, I'll actually use Murray to throw myself out. I was wondering what happened to that guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. Poor thing. We'll never get to live the modern day. I like that the, the music also kind of picks up when it comes to, to the, the later levels of hacking. Oh, oh this might have been a mistake. Oh, this was definitely a mistake. Come on, go, go, go. All right, good. We're through. I guess it's it just to show that the stakes have been raised, more security measures have been taken, so of course they, they pick up the music to make you feel a little more frantic. And we've got like four or five layers of security notes we need to take care of for this firewall, and wow, that was some serious strip that guy was getting. Avoiding them. Go over here. There's also another shooting drone up here, but thankfully he can't really do much of anything, especially if you just decide to hug the bottom part of this little arena. Again, the biggest threat here is definitely the, the bomb drones. Oop. wouldn't be so bad with these guys if it wasn't for the fact that they had a shield or they actually have a pretty uh, powerful shield. Like, maybe two hits to take them out would be fine with how fast these things respawn and how many are out in the field with you. At the same time, it's just like a, given a shield that like, takes like four to five hits to take out, it gets ridiculous at times. Thankfully, also, the bombs that they drop out are on a time limit as well, not just... Uh, getting destroyed after shooting them. What just hit me there? You all saw that, right? I, literally nothing hit me. I didn't see a drone bump into me. I guess maybe the red drone above shot me and it just got really lucky. It looked like one of the, the nodes went around and just hit me and clocked the damage in before I even got hit by it. Yeah, well. If there was going to be a hacking segment that I was going to have to repeat in this level, it was definitely going to be this one, just because this is absolutely insane. Oh, oh keep shooting that, keep avoiding these guys, keep going around in circles. Fast enough, and you're able to like cycle one layer of the firewall around. Then you can actually start working on the layer below it a little bit before the layer above it actually catches up with you. All right, that one actually wasn't as bad as it was the first time. I think it was just because I got hung up in that hallway earlier. 
That definitely cost me a lot of health during that. Alright, what's Sly doing up there? He's just chilling. Scratching that itch on his back. Sly, stop doing that. Don't do that with your leg, man. That's weird. And fire. Oh, just off. That should do it. Nope, missed. Oh, I think I hit him that time. Right, aim high. There we go. That did it. With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. All right, and with that, we're done with Bentley. Now, before we head back to the safe house with Bentley, I figured it would be in my best interest to grab the other treasure out here with him and just do another Murray Bentley slight treasure grab. Seeing as how Murray grabbed the one up by Bassan's house and Bentley's a little bit faster than Murray and also a little more versatile than Murray. I think we could probably make it back to the safe house in one piece with the treasure down here, even though it is rigged. Gonna run. All right. Oh, wait, I'm gonna wait for this guy. Where is he going? Whoa, Godspeed wherever you're going. Got 45 seconds to get back to the safe house. We should be able to do that, especially utilizing the hover pack. My biggest gripe is gonna be, yep, definitely the bear. And the flashlight guard. But I think the, the bear is actually taking care of the guards behind me for me. Just fly on up here. Definitely wouldn't have been able to do this if I didn't have that hover pack. Might have been able to make it up with Murray, but I don't think the turnbuckle launch would be enough to get him up there. Anyways, speaking of Murray, gonna head back out with him. I'm saving Sly for last because Sly actually has two missions in this. Uh, the, Mur the other Sly mission actually doesn't activate until you do Murray's mission. Kind of like how during Rajan's Palace, Murray and Ben, or no, just Murray's mission wouldn't activate. Wrong button! Murray's mission wouldn't activate until we lower the drawbridge. Up up here. Let's take care of this guy real quick. Or not. If we're gonna get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish, do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So, you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. <laughs> Just that delayed smack. That was pretty good. Anyways, got some fish. Got ourselves a bear. I think if the bear's around you, the guards actually will be chased away by him because they're too intimidated by him. And it's also weird that they say that he is blind and basically nerve damage when he... Oh, it actually shows him have, like, some cataracts on him. That or I just never got a good look at a bear's face, and that's just how their eyes looked. Anyways, uh, it's weird that they mentioned that about him, even though there was definitely times in, during past runs through this area where the bear has saw me, or heard me, or literally tried to kill me on multiple occasions. But he's very docile. He won't actually attack you. He actually will be pretty passive to you even after you finish this level until we leave the area and come back, in which case he goes back to his old ways. Anyways, throw a fish onto that. Bear thinks that metal smells like fish and goes and attacks nice it. Work. Trot old Grizzle face over to the next oil main by luring him. What was that? Throw this out of guard? Got it. That is one tough goose. He's either brave or stupid. Maybe both. Anyways, got one over there. And we've got one over by the sawmill. I th actually think it's more towards the electrified tunnel. 
and one that's a little down over there by the combat club i think we'll go to the one over here real quick just because it's literally right across the way and this guy's coming this way and i missed with the fish it's like did somebody threw a fish at me Who would do something so stupid there we go go get him big guy I can't believe they actually decided to put bear traps around here. I think this actually only happens during the the mission here. Alright, we're just gonna take this, throw it at the guard, get rid of him. I could roar at the guard just to scare him away, but at the same time he probably would come back despite the fact that I have, you know, the bear with me. Also, is it me? Or does this fish kinda look like a piranha? I think it's just the shape of it. It looks like a piranha, but it has the, like the color scheme of a rainbow trout. It's a very weird looking fish. Oh, he actually, no, no, you didn't. Don't half-ass the job, bear. There we go. All right, everybody, get out of here. All right, come on, big guy. Let's go on an adventure together. Oh yeah, something I forgot to mention is when you're doing the Atlas Strength run, there's times where the the item Murray is holding will actually start floating above his head. I think it only happens when you're like changing like a level or something. So like if you're going down a hill, the item still stays at the altitude that he was carrying it at the, above the hill. Got a couple of geese down here. I think the, yeah, the bear's going off. I'm just gonna stay up here, you know, just. Wait for the bear to show up. Absolutely wreck house and also terrify these geese. He's coming. Oh lord, he's coming, all right. Here he comes. I'll grab that fish real quick. Good job, big guy. Come on, a job well done. That deserves some fish. Come on, you want the fish? Gotta get, come catch it. Last oil main is... Oh, it's actually up there. I thought it was more down towards the lower section, not the upper section by the tunnel. Get out of here. Solid work, Murray. Now that the oil lines are exposed, the slide's all set up for a paragliding job off the lighthouse. <laughs> Uh, that got rid of the flashlight guard, but not this guy. Now, Sly's job is all the way up there at uh, the thermal ride. I actually forgot it was up there. I, I knew it was in a high up location, but I figured it would be like up here on this ice shelf up here. That might complicate things on how I wanted to get that last treasure. Hmm. I might actually have to get it before we do the Lumberjack games, but we'll see. For now, though. Let's just go get Sly and make our way back over to the lighthouse real quick. I'm actually probably going to cut my way over there. That way people don't have to watch me climb up that lighthouse for, what, a third time at this point? Actually, no, I think it was number two. Oh, well, either way, I'll see you up there. So, I was actually wrong. Uh, the mission for the lighthouse actually doesn't start at the lighthouse. It actually starts on the Northern Light Battery right here. So let's just climb up here real quick and start this mission, shall we? That lighthouse is the conduit for collecting the Northern Lights. We need to shut it down, or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy, making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. Alright, see you on the ground floor. Sure do hope Basan's not down there. Because that was the last location we saw him. Now, of course, he might be in his house. Who knows? Just relaxing by the fire with a good book or making some pelts, which 
in this universe also has a pretty, like, dark theory to it. No, whatever. Looks like you're going to be seeing me climb this lighthouse again for a third or fourth time. I honestly have lost count of it. But either way, let us just shimmy on over here. I really wish I had gotten that treasure a uh, second time up nice here. Climbing, Sly. You've made it up to the hatch. Or at least when I was going around collecting cool bottles. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Basan is actually a pretty good boss to his like goons. I can't, I haven't seen any of the other bosses in like well the series to be frank that have like shown as much support for the well-being of it, of his guys than Basan has. Uh, if only it was different circumstances. I Sly did say that if it was a different time, he definitely would be considered a hero. But unfortunately, the way things have been, he's now a villain. I think if that, that, that hits a guy, it actually will electrocute him. I want to see if that actually happens. Hey, genius. Smash that chair and let us in. Yep, there it goes. Inadvertibly taking him out. Of course, multiple times I keep trying to hit him into it. Uh, it doesn't do anything until I decide, oh, hey, I'm not here anymore. I'm just going to break all that stuff and let the gain in. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that Northern Line attractor. It'll be slag in minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. I don't know about you, I think it might be a dumb idea to make the main circuit breaker, uh, wood. Just doesn't seem like a smart idea. Well, either way, Bentley and Murray are down here working on making sure that I don't get shopped all the way up. Well, for the most part, that giant energy beam doesn't get come, climbing, uh, shooting slide. after me. We can't keep this thing reversed forever. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is heavy. Just gotta keep avoiding the shocks going up these wires. I'm having really bad luck with which wires are getting shocked, though. Like, geez. Uh oh There we go. Head up here, pull the switch, and break everything. We did it! The collection mechanism is overloading! Bentley, keep the voice down. There's a guard literally right above you. And just for good measure. Hmm. No. Where's my hat? Treasure. Five plus one equals... Uh, what, what is this a, a blueprint of? I feel like this is an Easter egg to something in, in this game. Like, this might be the Cairo map from the prologue. I can't figure it out. Hmm. I'll have to look into it, and if I don't find anything, or at least if Future Me doesn't find anything, I'm, uh, I'll always be welcome to whoever in the comments might tell me what this might be uh, referencing. Or maybe hinting to in the future. Who knows? Alright, well, as much as I want to grab this treasure... Either way, I'm going to have to climb back up here, so just to keep the flow of things going for um, pretty smoothly, I say we just go and do the final slime mission. In order to overcome Jean Bisson in the Lumberjack games, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs, and then bring it safely back to the safe house. 
direct the eagle's protective instincts against Bissan. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flames should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close, that old grizzle face will be eating barbecued raccoons for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good spot. All right. Now I'm all scratched up. Let's head on out. And we got to do a... But I like this. It's it's sort of like an aerial tour of the, of the map. And coupled with this music, it actually does uh, make this segment pretty relaxing. I think this is probably the most relaxing job in the entire game. Until we get to where we have to fly to the eagle's nest. And you'll see why in just a moment. Oh. Thankfully, you don't move far when you're in the updraft, so you can actually use that to turn yourself and reorient yourself to the next updraft location. And so long as you don't accidentally slip your finger off the paraglide button, you will most definitely uh, not hit the fire down below. Also, you know, wait till you're at the very top of the updraft before you fly off to the next one. Otherwise, you will probably get hit by the fire. There's sort of like a, a ceiling you bounce against before you leave the updraft area, so that, that's usually a good indicator. And as you can see, it looks like we got some company flying our way, and this is actually a part I really do not like, because while you can let go of the paraglider, if an eagle hits you, that is basically it. So what you want to do is actually kind of drop using the paraglider for a bit fly underneath the eagle's wing and you'll just barely miss them. Get ourselves an egg. Excellent job! If you could get that eagle egg back to the safe house, we'll be all set for the lumberjack game. I also like doing this mission last, A, because it actually, you know, ends at the safe house, and B, it actually does fit what Bentley says there, where we'll, we'll be all set for the games. So it's kind of like a, if this is our last job we have to do, so let's get, get this egg here and prepare for the games. Ooh, two guards coming this way. I'm just going to go this way and avoid them. And right here is the safe house. Great work, Sly. And with that, we are done and are 99% ready for the games. I still got to get that last treasure. The Lumberjack Games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the Long Chopping Guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Basson at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the Power Log Chopping Competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basson up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep us on from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basson's log so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. <laughs> 